are in our area known as the Parliament area, and they are having a apple wine festival. Want you to see the architecture and the color of these old buildings. Venus Pride. A very beautiful building. And over here, the church, the oldest church in Frankfurt. The historical museum in Frankfurt and looking at a model of what Frankfurt looked like in 1628. Picks what Frankfurt looked like following World War II. This damage was done mainly by the American Army. Um, the city looks like it was hit with an atomic weapon. You saw me tape outside or right in here. And they were destroyed during the war and rebuilt the way they looked before the war at great expense. Frankfurt is, of course, just a very small part of the downtown area and it is taken from the 1960s. I'm afraid you're going to get a lot of glare from the glass. of a very nice frontier fountain, fountain yes. Downtown Frankfurt, of course, I have to go more back. Tired, tired, tired. Oh, they are tired, tired, tired after that short three hour walk, of course. And I bought me these flowers, um, okay. which are really nice, aren't they? Goodbye. This is the Frankfurt Cathedral. Trying to see if we can get in. Well, we got in, and there was a wedding party outside. This is not nearly as beautiful as the other uh, church I showed you it when we were in Venice. The Marcos Kier. Yeah.
is June 4th, a Sunday morning, and we are loading up the car, getting ready to go to the airport and return to the United States. You're looking at Gina's apartment here in Hedernheim. And there, is, parked in the corner, is Gina's motorcycle. She just got it fixed, and now she can use it. New Frankfurt Airport, checking in. It's a beautiful airport. You can see how shiny the floor is. Just from here that is used to transport people uh, around various areas of the air, airport. She went to get us some fortification for the air flight. It's a good way to finish off our German trip, European trip, was to say that we're home for a few days now. Bruno's had to cut the grass, the first spring cutting. Uh, wildflowers don't seem to be doing very well at all, but we'll wait and see. And um, he's even gotten in his first shift at the hospitality center, so at the information center as a hospitality host. Anyway, the color's just about gone from our new trees that we planted last fall. I should have done this a little bit sooner. Well, anyway, this is it. We're home, and now life will resume in a rather hopefully normal routine. Information Center where Bruno practices the skill of being a hospitality host. So let's go say hi to him. The door so we can see you. There he is in all of his splendor. How, what kind of a day are you having? Oh, tremendous. I would complain about the weather too if I was on vacation. <laughs> but that, there's nothing you can do about that. Nope. To be a hospitality host, you have to have a lot of information. And as you can see, they are well equipped at this spot to let everybody know what there is to do, where to go. They have much more literature than we do. I've been sending them though, and uh, the Edna G. These are the. That's the Edna G. Here, the tugboat. Uh -huh. This is the train. This is the view from the harbor, and there's the breakwater in the background. See that? You might want to go down there. And take Except a look if at you're going to walk on the breakwater, be dressed warm. Yes, I have to. I think you walk on the.